President Biden in the White House still avoiding any and all questions about the classified documents found at his home and office. And according to reports, Hunter Biden was at the Biden home in Wilmington, Delaware, just four days before those documents were discovered. Joining us now for more is the vice chair of the Center for America Security at the America First Policy Institute and former CIA analyst Fred Flights. Fred, thanks for joining us this morning. Fred, I want to show you these photos from July 2017, which places Hunter Biden in the Corvette. That's President Biden's Corvette where the classified documents were found. So remember President Biden said that the documents were in a locked garage with his Corvette. Doesn't seem too secure to me. What do you make of this? No, I think that's a good point. I've been thinking about this. We're talking about a double standard between what happened in Mar-a-Lago and what happened at Biden's house. In my opinion, Biden desperately did not want an FBI investigation of his house, because if that had happened, if the FBI went in there and took all the documents like they did in Mar-a-Lago, they would have taken a lot of documents unrelated to this classified document issue. This means additional uh, White House documents that may not have been classified, but were still official records. But look, Hunter Biden was using this home. There likely were documents related to his business dealings in Biden's personal office elsewhere in the House. These are things that Joe Biden did not want discovered by the government. Fred, I just want to get your take on that, that bombshell Wall Street Journal report yesterday that basically said the attorneys for Joe Biden asked the DOJ to be a part of the search process of the Biden home and the Biden office. So basically the, the DOJ said no. So the DOJ allowed the lawyers of the target of a potential investigation to gather evidence for that investigation. How absolutely ludicrous is that to you? It's, it's ridiculous. It's, it's like football players uh, mailing in their urine samples for drug tests. Right. This has to be done objectively. You can't let the subject of an investigation or his attorneys handpick the evidence of an alleged violation. This has to be done by an objective law by objective law enforcement agents. This happened with the Hillary Clinton email server. Her lawyers looked through the server, destroyed things they didn't want the government to see. I'm just wondering what was there that the Biden attorneys decided not to turn over and may have destroyed. Yeah, obviously, you know, we know that some of the documents may be pertaining to Ukraine, to Iran that were found in the Biden Penn Center, but we don't know what is in those documents. So should we as Americans be concerned about our security because we don't know who saw them? I think we should be very concerned. We really don't know what was there, how many documents were turned over, how seriously, how seriously classified they were, because this is all being self-reported by the White House. The White House is not going to tell us how serious this is. And look, with classified documents being uh, stored in a garage and in the office of, of a think tank funded by China, we don't know that there's a connection that hostile powers had access to this information, but it's a question Congress needs to ask. Um, I want to play a soundbite. So Karine Jean-Pierre has stonewalled. This is day number nine. We'll see what happens today during the press briefing. But she's stonewalled for the past eight days. Uh, John Kirby yesterday said that the White House is going to cooperate with anything the DOJ wants. Take a look. Will the Biden administration, John, cooperate fully with the U.S. Justice Department, the Intelligence Damage Assessment, and Congress, for that matter, including making the president himself available? The, the president has been clear. We will absolutely fully, and we have fully cooperated with the Justice Department. Certainly, uh, we, we are aware of congressional concerns and we'll answer those concerns fully appropriately. I won't get ahead of uh, individual tactics or who's interviewing who. That's, uh, we're not at that point right now. But you can expect that the cooperation that this administration has exhibited to date will absolutely continue going forward. Fred, I think the American people are scratching their heads saying, yes, we are at that point right now. Um, what do you think's going on with KJP in the briefing room? Do you think she's being deliberately misled behind the scenes? I don't think she wants to answer un, un, uh, uh, questions that are unwelcome. I don't know if you saw where she walked out when Newsmax's James Rosen yeah. asked yeah. a really good question, but that's the way the White House treats James. He's a great journalist. Uh, it, it's just such a joke to hear that the White House is going to cooperate with the Justice Department when we know the Justice Department is covering for the White House. In, in this dispute. Will they fully cooperate with Congress? We've already heard that they don't plan to fully cooperate with Congress, that this administration doesn't plan to cooperate with investigations that they think are inappropriate. All right, Fred Flight, it's great to get your take on all this. Look forward to having you back soon. Thank you. Good to be here. 
Hey guys, it's Rob Carson. Your retirement funds are being threatened with even more losses from record inflation, recession, and skyrocketing interest rates. Fortunately, the highly trained specialists at American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. If you call them right now, it's a special offer. They will give you a free gold coin on your first qualifying order, so don't wait. Call 866-935-4309. That's 866-935-4309 or text Newsmax to 65532. That's Newsmax to 65532.